On today's adventure, we are on the hunt for red squirrels. About a year ago, I captured this photo right here. I'd went on a day trip to Mount Stewart for my birthday, and lo and behold, I came across the red squirrel hide. Mount Stewart is home to between 40 and 50 red squirrels, and have been vital in the revitalization of the population throughout Northern Ireland. Across the whole of the Ards Peninsula, they're estimating about 120 red squirrels now, which is close to the natural capacity for the area in its current condition. It started in 2015 with a number of red squirrel projects, and unfortunately our native red squirrels are victim to the grey squirrel. The American grey squirrel is known to take over the habitats of the red squirrels and even go as far as killing them. So this project of getting red squirrels back into Northern Ireland has been vital and very important work. And I think it's absolutely fantastic that we can have these opportunities as a shared experience where I can go to a red squirrel hide and just sit and potentially get lucky. The walk around Mount Stewart is absolutely fantastic. It's got a fantastic 19th century house an estate attached to it and it is really quite beautiful to behold and visit. So I was determined today to find some red squirrels. With it being winter still here in Northern Ireland it was imperative that we got up early and although Mount Stewart only opened at 10 it gave us that vital period of time where the red squirrels are active three to four hours after sunrise so we set off on foot. And one of my favourite spots to visit whenever I'm going to Mount Stewart is the lake area. It's fantastic and has a wide range of diverse waterfowl usually found in it from lovely swans right the way through to your average mallard duck and a couple of greedy seagulls who have figured out that uh, people like to feed the ducks and swans. So I set up my camera and got this lovely shot. Just a simple clean shot of the water, the lake, the reflection of the trees cascading down onto the nice watery surface. And this was just an opportunity of being there and having this come to us first of all. But we didn't spend too long here because we knew our time was limited with the potential of red squirrels being out, so we set off towards the hide. The walk up to the red squirrel hide is pretty brief from once you get in, maybe about 10 minutes at max at a slow walking pace. And it's a really well built area. The only problem is whenever we arrived, the front glass window was all full of condensation, which made it difficult to see through. But even though that we were faced with this small difficulty, the side panel windows that you can open and have access to view out into the hide play area really paid off in this instance, because there before us were two red squirrels running about jumping between the woodwork and going into their little feeders. We spent the guts of about 30 to 40 minutes, maybe even an hour, I don't know. Time passed by. <laughs> Time didn't matter because I'd set up my camera, set up the GoPro just to get some of the video footage and I was caught between do I want to take photos or do I want to take some of the video. In the end I settled for a small mix of both and the photography experience was second to none and I pulled off some of these shots here. This little red squirrel came out of its feeder eventually and was down and posing away on the wood top. And I have to say some of the fantastic shots that I got are just absolutely incredible and a real pleasure to have gotten. But I do think the shot of the day has to go to holding my nuts. He had climbed out of his little feeder and was just adamantly clutching on to two of the wee seeds that were inside the feeder, clutched nice and tight to his chest, and they're absolutely fantastic. But leaving the red squirrels for a minute, there are fantastic other opportunities to view the wildlife that are at Mount Stewart. They even have bird feeders set up beside the red squirrel hide where you can get some fantastic shots of the British garden birds. Great tits, blue tits, cool tits and everything in between. I even walked up to the red squirrel hide and I could have sworn I'd seen a common spotted woodpecker which is the first time that I've actually ever seen one out in the wild. It was just a red blip as I seen its red tail as it flew off towards some trees. I never did get close enough to identify whether or not it was one, but I'm going to take it as it was. And that's quite special to me. Walking across the grounds, it has fantastic absolute opportunities with different 
vegetation and plants to offer to see and view, as well as all these different little birds. All in all, it was a fantastic day out and I really did have fun, but enough about the rest of the wildlife, let's get back to the red squirrels. And I really can't say it enough how much of a joy it was to watch these little red squirrels in and out of their feeders, and it was just completely magical and there's no other word to describe it. Unfortunately, between the GoPro footage and the footage that was produced on my Canon EOS R5, there's no comparison. The EOS R5 captures the squirrels beautifully at 120 frames per second and creates a much better embedded video. But still, I'm very glad to have been able to capture these red squirrels on video and be able to share this experience with you guys watching. And eventually later on, as the day progressed, more people were coming in. The red squirrels must have been getting tired and disappeared back to their drays. And although we got a fantastic opportunity this time, it may not be guaranteed the next time. I would definitely love to get a telephoto lens that I could zoom in much farther than the range that I had on my 24 to 105 millimeter lens and 85 millimeter lens. So maybe that's something that I can invest in the future and return and hopefully get better shots of these wonderful red squirrels. But with that, it was time to leave. It was time to close up all the little side windows and bid the squirrels farewell. Always thank you so much for watching this short film. Hopefully you've enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed making it, and if you do enjoy it, please do feel free to hit the like button and the subscribe button as well, and ring the bell for more notifications whenever I post new videos. As always, you can check out some of my photography work at Mr. Quinn Photography over on Instagram, and whenever you post, you can use the hashtag MrQPhotos, so that whenever I go through the hashtag, I can see some of the work that you're producing in your own area. As always in the future, whenever we gain a wee bit of traction and following, I hope to showcase a lot of the work that people are showing there. But as always, it's been a pleasure guys, and I will catch you in the next episode.